story time with Jess. So glad you're here. Today we are reading Hugs. There once was a little girl named Carly that was having a very bad day until the little boy standing beside her gave her a hug and the sadness went away. Carly didn't know what happened, but she felt like she wanted to smile. When that little boy gave her that hug, it seemed to spread happiness for over a mile. Carly then realized that hugs could be used in more than just one way. It could make a bad day feel much better and turn a good one to an even brighter day. So here are a few things that Carly learned about hugs from that silly little boy. With just a few arm movements, you can give others a little more joy. A hug can say hello, or a hug could say goodbye. A hug can really make a difference when you see someone starting to cry. A hug can be like a giant. A hug can be like a mouse that's small. A hug can be as short as you want them to be, but the long ones are the best of all. A hug can be soft to comfort or strong just like a bear. No matter how a hug is given, it will always show someone you care. A hug can even say, I'm sorry. If someone did something bad to hurt you, a hug shows someone you love them, no matter what they may or may not do. A hug fills you with happiness. You should try and get at least one a day. If no one is giving a hug to you, then give one to them. It works either way. So spread the word and let people know. You can give as many hugs as you please. Learn from Carly in this story and give someone you care for a really big squeeze. The end. Thanks for joining us today with Storytime with Jess. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and comment below what stories you want to hear next. Bye!